Hi, this is Nick from Sunlight Media, and today I'm going to give an introductory guide to using Emmet for faster coding of HTML and CSS. Emmet is essentially a plugin library of very useful hotkey commands that will expand into the most common HTML and CSS declarations, rules, properties, and much more. This cuts down enormously on having to type closing tags for each element, remembering the right CSS selector, as well as cutting down on syntax errors. Emmet is freely available for just about any text editor. Whether you use Brackets, Atom, Sublime Text, or any other popular editor, chances are it is available for your editor of choice. If you don't already have it installed, just head over to the download page at emmet.io to find download and installation instructions. There's a direct link to this in our blog post on Emmet, which you can find in the video description. In this video, I'm going to be using a third-party port of the plugin for Vim, but the functionality is essentially the same, regardless of what editor you use. Emmet has a huge amount of abbreviations for syntax, element types, and much more, all of which can be extended via the snippets and preferences JSON files. Covering all of what Emmet can offer is out of scope for this video, but learning even a handful of these abbreviations can drastically speed up your workflow for front-end coding. The workflow for Emmet consists of two simple parts, the abbreviation for the snippet that will be expanded and the action key that will cause the abbreviation to expand to the full snippet. In most text editors, this action key is the tab key, although it can be mapped differently via customization. Once you have Emmet installed for your text editor, open up a new document and save it as an HTML file somewhere, let's say as an index.html file, although you can name it whatever you like. To get started with an example, type HTML colon 5 and then press the action key. You will immediately see the text expand into the full basic structure of an HTML5 document. This alone is a huge cut in the amount of typing required to set up a document. By default, typing period followed by a name will create a div element with that class name assigned. Typing the pound sign followed by a name will create a div with that ID name. Let's create a div with the class name container. To do so, type period container followed by the action key. Emmet is very intuitive. For example, to create a paragraph and unordered list element, you would simply type the character P or the character's UL followed by the action key. One of the most useful shortcuts in Emmet is the ability to multiply elements. If you know you're going to need a number of the same elements or combination of elements, you can multiply a single declaration instead of having to type every single one. This is especially useful for list items, but can be applied to anything such as divs, paragraphs, or anything else. As an example, if you know you're going to need five div elements on the page, just type div followed by the asterisk or multiplication sign followed by the number five. There is so much more Emmet can do, and I highly recommend checking out the official documentation on their website, emmet.io. To find more tutorials and articles on web development, technology, and current internet trends, or to inquire about our web development and digital marketing services, please check us out at sunlightmedia.org.